say most children diagnosed with COVID-19 are back to normal in about two weeks, but there are a number of patients who struggle with those symptoms for months. Devin Merch News is Mark Roper's outside Kennedy Krieger Institute. Mark, these patients have come to be known as long haulers. Yeah, Christian, and many parents have questions about that. They want to know how that's going to affect their kids. So we asked the doctor here at the Kennedy Krieger Institute to get some answers, and we wanted to know just exactly what do parents need to know about those symptoms that never seem to go away. Patients with long-lasting COVID symptoms are known as long haulers, but there's still a lot doctors don't know about this disease. It hasn't exactly been set by the CDC how long the symptoms need to last for. Some say three months, some say a month. And so to be conservative, I would say there's no reason to not reach out if you're having symptoms longer than a month. Doctors at Kennedy Krieger Institute's Pediatric Post-COVID-19 Rehabilitation Clinic are dedicated to treating those long-haul patients. Pediatric neurologist Dr. Laura Malone notes, researchers have yet to determine why COVID strikes some children worse than others. I really wish I knew the answer to that. Um, we're working with other hospitals and institutions across the country to try and understand that. Parents of children with pre-existing conditions already have concerns about COVID, but Dr. Malone doesn't want to speculate if that makes kids more susceptible to being long haulers. We just don't know yet. I think that we are always worried about people that have lung conditions such as asthma with any respiratory illness. Um, but by and large, we're not seeing that every child that has those conditions are the ones that end up having persistent symptoms. So it's, it's very varied right now. Meanwhile, the long-term effects of COVID on the future development of children as they mature into adulthood also remain unknown. Everything that we know so far, we have every reason to believe that this is something that is temporary and wouldn't otherwise affect their development, but we don't know that quite yet. So how much longer can parents and children expect those long haul symptoms to last? It's very varied. Um, some people feel like they are feeling better after a month or two um, if they're experiencing long COVID type of symptoms. Some are still having difficulties up to six months or even longer. And so it depends on the patient and what symptoms they're experiencing. And I think that's why we really want to try and understand what are some of the underlying pathophysiology that's causing this in order to help figure out a plan for each of those subsets of patients. And for more information about the post-COVID clinic for kids here at the Kennedy Krieger Institute, just look for the story on our website, WMAR2news.com. We're going live in East Baltimore, Mark Roper, WMAR2news. Okay, Mark, thanks.